access points for two AP uh, nodes, let's say. We have the 10 access points, which is the central uh, RF unit that's being fully managed by the grid control. This is the first one. The second one, we have take access points, which will do the whole RF scanning and the channel assignments and, um, let's say, uh, the client association and the, uh, the uh, all, all of the wireless related functions within the same appliance. We have 40 gig units with integrated Wi-Fi antenna that can do you all of that stuff if we're talking about the point uh, or second point of presence of the wireless system. So as we can see, the um, let's say the market share of the managed uh, wireless load is coming up as we have many notebooks uh, is coming, many uh, mobile handsets, many PDAs and all of that stuff. So these are the driving force know that we have the managed uh, Wi-Fi zone and, uh, and roaming uh, seamless uh, Wi-Fi zone. So again, these are the driving forces. Uh, one example of deployment like uh, education and healthcare, uh, especially in hospital, uh, when you're uh, paging uh, one doctor to see how uh, much more he has, so you can tell him to, uh, to get into the uh, emergency room or whatever. So these are simple examples. Uh, where do we uh, need a managed wireless uh, zone? This is the growing market share of the access points versus controllers. So apparently, we can tell that the coming trend is the managed Wi-Fi zone, not the, the standalone access points. So this is in brief what this uh, slide is telling us. Okay. As long as we have a valid, uh, let's say, uh, option for one function, we have risk. Bottom line, we need to have the option valid as long as we're mitigating the risk. So with wireless, the wireless space and fields is mature, but no one offer a complete answer of security and control challenge. What we're saying here is that we need a comprehensive uh, wireless system that's plugging uh, sorry, that's plugging all the security holes. At the same time, we're getting the maximum performance of it. Okay? Um, one problem with the wireless, or let's say, uh, the general claim, the unguided medium, either it's a GSM, uh, Wi-Fi, WiMAX, uh, CDMA, whatever, the unguided technology, the problem is, when you have a shared frequency, you cannot tell who's using this frequency and who, who is not using it. If we're talking enterprise grade level, we have one organization, which is the DRC. That's, uh, that's let's, say, uh, 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 let's say, allocating what frequency one, one sub supplier can use and what uh, other frequencies uh, could be used, what's the power of the signal, what's the maximum dB you can assign to your antennas, and all of that stuff. So, again, for wireless, for Wi Fi, it's a shared frequency, ISM. Uh, industrial, scientific, and medical. This is a frequency or bandwidth you do not need to license. So you can use it, I can use it, everyone can use it. So this is another challenge of a band, uh, channel, uh, let's say, uh, management. Okay? To avoid the co-channel interference. Fortinet has both security and networking to, uh, to track wireless LAN challenges. This is by integrate a wireless uh, or manage wireless solution into a security aware device or security aware mobility control. Okay? Yeah, I'm not 
talking about the storage for the flash memories. I'm, I'm talking about, uh, that's why I call it USB ports. So I'm, I'm, I'm still keeping the, the uh, let's say the flash memory is available. However, I'm blocking the, um, let's say the 3G facilities. So this is basically done at the application level. This is to prevent any physical uh, interaction with the uh, computer element found in, the, in your uh, enterprise. I mean, this is at the application level, we're talking about network right? This is to overcome the case that someone is bringing an access point, plugging it to your local network, and then start to advertise your local network over Wi-Fi. So this is, uh, this is the, uh, how, how 50 gate can detect the, uh, this access point as a local access point, either it detected over the wired or wireless network. So this is basically what we mean by local access. Send the combination to have secure wireless access points at the security or multi layer security system to get a fortified wireless space. These are the, the, the prime uh, keys, if you say so, to get a, a secure or fortified wireless LAN. Okay. Okay. Again, this is the big circle. Starting from the multi thread security or embedding the security concept into the wireless world, this will reflect and find wireless and wired management. This is will give you the upper hand in, uh, in terms of management in order to tell what's uh, or what's the frequencies being used by the mobility controller, how how uh, let's say uh, to widen the cover the coverage of one access point in order to load balance another access point. All of this, uh, let's say, all the processing frame of the managed uh, wireless solution is being done at the mobility controller level. So, uh, consequently, to lower the total cost of ownership, any managed wireless solution, if you're willing to invest into it, 80% uh, of the, the investment will go for the mobility controller. Going to be using 40 nuts, once you have 40 gate in place, just fire up a new firmware for free, and then you have the mobility controller. But you need just to buy the 10 access points. So this is how we lower the uh, total cost of ownership. Okay, the two modes, the tech and the 10 access points. For 40 Wi Fi, it's a 40 gig device with an integrated Wi Fi antenna. This is a uh, small or so low grade of business. Okay, so it's a standalone tech access point. Radio physically integrated, the Wi Fi radio or antenna integrated with the 40 gate device. One Wi Fi radio targeted as an access point with background scan. This is to see or to detect what row access point do we have in the space. IEEE e compliance uh, from A to N, ideal for distributed office space less than 300 meters. On the contrary, we have the 10 access points. We have three models as of now. 310, 320, and 322. 322 is the outdoor antenna. So you have, you have like a uh, university campus that you need to cover the outdoor area and get use of the outdoor uh, element. Okay, so centrally managed, uh, 10 access point by, by mobile controller, 40 gig mobile controller. As we're saying right here, requires separate 40 gig wireless controller. 220 dual Wi Fi radio. We'll talk about the physical specs next slide. Again, it complies with all of the uh, Wi Fi flavors A, B, G, and M. Ideal for live indoor installation or even outdoor installation as we have the outdoor elements. Okay. This is a simple example how uh, we're deploying the, the 10 access points. So we're placing the 48 key over there. The client is uh, uh, trying to connect to the access point. The traffic or the access point basically tunneling the traffic into the primary uh, or into the prime uh, frame, which is the rate control. So this is the device who says what traffic to accept, what traffic to deny, uh, what's the limits, what's the malicious, what's the legitimate, all of that details being uh, considered and the prime which is the very control. So again, this is a simple illustration how, how physically we deploy with the next point and how we are connected to the 40 gate. Okay. So the secure 10 access 
this point, then we have some classical specs. We have a dual Wi-Fi radius, the two minus multiple and multiple of just a simple history about signals. This is the transmitter. This is the receiver. So this is single and single out. The, the, uh, the number of used antennas within the sender and receiver. Uh, speaking of uh, the 48200 series, we're getting use of two antennas. This is to, uh, uh, let's say, boost the, um, the transmission and the quality of reception. So you're getting the signal over two antennas. So you can correlate and get these details into an algorithm in which you can get the output of what's what the exact uh, information transmitted over that array. So this is what we mean by MIMO, multiple in, multiple out. Simultaneous radio operation. Through simultaneous radio operation, we have one radio signal that advertising our SSIDs to the uh, space, and another one just for scanning, to scan uh, in case of any local access point. Okay? And some, some physical aspects like the, the Giga POE interface, the internet interface, the power connection if you do not have the POE enabled switch. Sorry? 17 dB. Yeah, 17 dB. This is the maximum we can go. Basically, it depends on the uh, standard that we're talking about. If we're talking A, Basically, it's private in, in Jordan because it's, this frequency is taken for, uh, uh, I, I believe, for, yeah. Uh, we have uh, B technology, we have G, we have N. So it depends on what technology we can, uh, let's say we have a limitation per technology. Okay, so uh, speaking of the DD, we can go up to 70 dB. Okay, and uh, as you can see, uh, maximum of 16 SSIDs. So we can make one SSID for employees, for uh, contractors, for uh, managers, for whatever. And each one of these SSIDs has different, uh, let's say, uh, accessibility. So if you're uh, successfully access or uh, able to access uh, one SSID through radius or whatever, then you get the, uh, the accessibility of that SSID. Okay. Okay. Two radios in the same enclosure, as we said, provide POE power source. If you do not, uh, uh, sorry, if you have a POE cover switch in place, up to 16 SSIDs, unlimited number of clients per access points. So again, we're not uh, limiting or we're not having the per user license or per user application. Okay? This is the outdoor element, water and dust resistance. Um, This is for the outdoor, we have 27 dBm, speaking of the signal power. So again, it depends on the technology we're using, it depends on the access point model. Basically for, for outdoor, uh, by, by definition, you should be covering a wide uh, outdoor area. So that's why we need to consider high gain antenna or high power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This model is outdoor mounted, so it's waterproof and dustproof. Definitely we have some, some mounting elements that we will not get it into a place where someone can reach it. If they're mounted over the ceiling or whatever the physical requirement is done. Okay? Again, 16 SSIDs. We have dual radio. Uh,